this Resolve 16 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the keyframe stretcher to adapt the animation of a either fusion comp or adjustment clip that you've made and have it adapt to the changing the length, the duration of the adjustment clip, and the animation will follow with it. So you show here that I'm having a title, fade in, stay on screen for a while, and then fade out. That's about a six second long clip, so here I'm going to drag it out, extend its length, to about 10 seconds and play it through and it'll still fade in the same amount of time it'll stay on screen but it'll stay on screen past the six seconds and then fade out the very end and no matter how long you stretch it same thing will happen it'll come on it's about one and a half seconds on then it stays on until about one and a half seconds at the end which I'll go through the end here and then it'll fade out at the very end and then go along. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that using the keyframe structure node in the Fusion tab of Resolve 16. All right, start off here with scratch. We'll get rid of this adjustment clip. I'll get rid of the one in the media pool as well. So we'll add our adjustment clip in. Now, basically, anytime you're going to be using the adjustment clip, you want to, if you use it here and come over into Fusion, you'll notice that the keyframes, the frames here are wonky. They start at like 108,000. If you really want to use the adjustment clip, drag it to the timeline first, then drag it into your media pool, delete the one that's on your timeline, and then drag one from the uh, media pool. And now when you go into Fusion, The frames will be the correct length, so this is six seconds long, so it's zero to 179, so it's the correct length now. So I can move this around and give myself a little more room. So here I'm just gonna add a simple, do a simple fade in, fade out, the text node. So I'll drag that in to the node editor here, and I'll connect that in to the output of the media in, which will create a merge. Then I'll add my text in. I'm going to have it fade in and fade out, so I'll change the size to what size I want it right now. And the fade, the opacity is on the under the color here, so you'll see opacity under properties. So I'll start at zero and do a keyframe. Then I'll come in at about 45 frames. It's about one and a half seconds, 44. I'll take the opacity up to full, so that makes a keyframe there. Then I'll go towards the end. So about 135 or so, about one, yeah, 135. So what we're gonna do is create a keyframe here first. So that way it'll stay solid all the way along. Move one keyframe forward, do another keyframe, and then it'll fade out from here to the end. Otherwise, if you don't put those two right by each other, it'll be fading out the entire time. So this way it'll stay solid, stay on screen all the way up until this point. And then I just have to come to the end here and take the opacity back down. So play it through here. So then title, the text comes on, stays on, and then fades out. So now to make that adjustable, we're going to use what's called a keyframe stretcher. Now this really isn't uh, too well documented by uh, Blackmagic yet. I'm sure it'll be in a future help file in their documentation. But as of right now, it's not really documented. So you just have to hit Control Space Bar to bring up your search. And you want to search for keyframe stretcher. So I already have it here. So click Add. That adds it after the node that you're going to be that you have animated. So you come over here into the inspector. It has a source start, source end, and then a stretch start and a stretch end. Now this is going to be basically the length of the clip you're going to be using. So this is six seconds long. So I want to make sure it starts at zero and ends at the 179. And you want the stretch start to be at the basically the end of your animation because you're going to be stretching in between the animation. So that was at 45. So we'll make that 45. It doesn't have to be exact. It could be, I think actually it was 44, but that's fine. Hit enter. And then it was at 135. So we'll type that in. 
So now we have it 0, 179, and then start at 45 to end at 135. And if we play this through, it'll work just as normal. I can see any difference here, because we haven't changed the length of the clip. Just make sure that runs through. Could stop it, go back into the edit tab. And then to check it, we can just play it through normal without changing the length. So right now it's still six seconds, so it fades in, it plays, and then fades out, just like normal. So then I could drag my playhead over here, and I could drag this out to about 10 seconds or so. And then put the playhead at the beginning before it. Now if I play through, it comes on, and then stays. Now it should, after six seconds or so, normally it would fade out, but it waits to the end. And then for about one and a half seconds later, uh, it's about one and a half seconds left in the clip, it fades out. So we do that again. Play through, fades in, about one and a half seconds. Plays through the middle part. And then with about one and a half seconds to go, fades out. And again, you could change this to, you don't want to shorten it. There's still kind of a uh, problem with the keyframe structure that if you make it shorter, so if I was to take it from six seconds when I make it and take it down to five or four, it'll actually get some black uh, black frames in and it'll kind of uh, glitch and so you don't really want to do that. So you want to only make the clips longer. So if you know you're going to be making clips between three seconds and longer, make your initial adjustment clip three seconds when you do your fusion nodes and then add your keyframe structure. And then you can make it from three seconds as long as you want but you always want to make it longer. So here I'll make it almost 17 seconds long. And you can see it takes about one and a half seconds to fade in. It'll play through. I'll jump here to the end. It'll play through the entire middle part. And with one and a half seconds to go, it'll fade out. Now you can still see some glitches here occasionally. And sometimes you can just take care of that if you just kind of move it around. And then let it play through. It'll fade out. And I'll make it shrink it down a little bit again here. Have it play through. Let it play through the middle. It's going okay. And it gets to the end. And fades out. Now it still doesn't seem to be 100% reliable. So you might have to play with it and kind of adjust it but uh, it seems to be working about 90% of the time, especially again, when you lengthen the clip, it seems fine. If you try shorten it from the original length, it gives some problems, but that is the basics of how to use the keyframe stretcher in the Fusion tab of Resolve 16. So hopefully you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.